Let's now solve 10 item CSE math quiz. So, isa-isahin natin isolve ito, tapos is post nyo muna para sagutan nyo bago nyo makita yung solution natin. Number 1, 0.2 is to 1 fifth as 0.8 is to what? Ang pag ganito, mga number analogy, tingnan mo muna kung anong relasyon itong dalawa. Si 0.2, that is or over 2 over 10, is also equal to 1 fifth. Bali, ito yung simple na fraction. Ito naman, uh, 2 over 10, pwede pa siyang ma-simplify, which is 1 fifth nga siya. So, ibig sabihin, pariho lang sila, equal lang sila. Yun ang relasyon niya. So, bali, kung ito, hanapan natin ng pariho lang sa kanya, yung 0.8 or 8 over 10, kasi nasa 10th place siya. So, 8 over 10, yung 8 over 10, masimplify pa natin yan, and that is 4 over 5. So, ang answer dito ay 4 over 5. Number 2, what number will increase by 80% of itself will equal to 63? Ibig sabihin, let n be our number. So, 100% ng n plus, kasi yung n man mismo, nag-increase tayo ng 80% ni n will equal to 63. So, ito yung equation natin. 100% ni n, nag-increase by 80%. So, 100% plus 80%. Bali, yung n mismo, at 80% ng n equals 63. And this is 180% of n equals 63. So, 1.8 of n equals 63. n equals 63 over 1.8. Para mas madaling i-divide natin. Uh, lagyan natin ng isang zero dito. Isang place lang naman dyan. So, maging whole number na si divisor natin. 630 divided by 18, that is 35. So, ang sagot dito ay 35. Number 3, which of the following numbers is represented by the prime factors? 3 times 5 times 7. Just simply multiply them. Prime, kasi ito yung mga prime numbers. Factors, kasi nag-multiply tayo. So, these are prime factors. Just multiply them. 3 times 5, that is 15 times 7, 105. Number 4. What is 1 sixth of 96% in decimal form? So, ang e is equal yan. So, let n be the number that we are looking for. 1 sixth of is multiplication, 96%. So, 1 6 times point, gawin muna natin decimal si 96%. And that will be 96 point yan over 6. Paano mag-divide ng decimal? So, point 96. Itong decimal na to, whole number naman si divisor. Wala, huwag na natin pakialaman yan. Si 96, itaas lang natin si decimal. So, 9 divided by 6, that is 1, and this is 6, 36, 36 divided by 6 is 6. So, ang answer ay 0. 0.16. This is the answer. Number 5, which of the following is divisible with no remainder by 6? First, ang lahat ng div uh, divisible ng 6 ay must be divisible also by 2 and 3. Ibig sabihin, mga even numbers. So, itong mga odd numbers na yan, hindi na yan. 5 at saka 7, yung mga last lang ang titingnan mo. So, odd numbers ito, hindi na yan pwede. So, ang pipilian natin ay itong mga even numbers. Dapat, divisible siya ng 3. So, sa rule, ang divisible ng 3 ay i-add mo lang lahat ng digit. Ang total niyan, kung divisible siya ng 3, yun na yun. 32. Hindi siya divisible ng 3. 4, uh, 1 plus 4, that is 5, 12, that is 16, 17, and this is 21. So, divisible siya ng 3. So, ang answer ay letter C. Huwag na natin yung uh, aksayahin ng oras natin.
The answer is letter C. Number 6. 40% of 5 is 1 half percent of what number? So, 40% of multiplication yan, 5 is uh, equal yan, 1 half percent of uh, multiplication what number? So, let n be our number. 40% kung i-convert mo yan sa decimal that is 0.4 times 5 equals. 1 half percent kung i-convert mo yan sa decimal form, paano? Example, ito lang, uh, gawin lang nating fraction pa rin siya. So, i-divide mo na siya ng 100 para maging ma-cancel yung decimal niya. So, 1 half na siya. Ang division maging multiplication, reciprocal ng 100 ay 1 over 100. And that is 1 over 200. And this is equals to 0 0.005. Or, itong 1 half percent mo, gawin mo siyang 0.5 percent. So, yan. Pareho lang yan. I-convert mo pa siya ng uh, decimal form or yung mawala yung percent sign. So, i-divide mo siya ng 100 percent. And this is 0 0.005. So, meaning, this is 0 0.005 times n. Next, point five, uh, point 0.4 times 5, that is 2, equals point zero zero 0.005 times n. Cancel mo yan dyan, i-transpose mo sa kabila, so makancel na siya. So that means, si 2 divided by point zero zero 0.005 equals n. Paano mag-divide ng walang uh, calculator? Ito, decimal, ito si divisor. Gawin nating whole number si divisor. Itong divisor na to. Gawin nating whole number. Bali, 1, 2, 3. So, maging 5 na siya. Tatlo ha. So, tatlo ang 0 din ang ilagay natin sa taas. Ibig sabihin, nag-multiply ka dito. Nag-multiply ka dito ng 1,000. Pag, para maging 5 siya. So, mag-multiply ka rin ng 1,000 dito sa 2. Kaya, 2,000 divided by 5 na siya. Pariho lang yan sa 2 divided by 0 0.005. Ang answer dyan ay 400. So, ito ang answer. Number 7. What is the average of 7 over 8 and 3 fourth? Pag sinabing average, mag-add tayo sa given at mag-divide tayo kung ilan yung given. Ngayon, i-add muna natin to 7 over 8 plus 3 fourth. Hindi pariho ang denominator, kaya kailangan nating i-adjust itong 3 fourth natin para maging pariho na siya. Si 8 at saka si 4, ang least common denominator ng dalawa ay 8. So, kopyahin itong 7 over 8 plus ito, i-divide, i-multiply natin ng 2 para maging 6. Ito naman i-multiply natin ng 2 para maging 8. So, that means... 3 fourth is equal to 6 over 8. So, ito na yung equivalent ng 3 fourth, 6 over 8 na. Pariho na siya ng denominator, yung denominator mo, i-kopyahin mo lang. Yung numerator mo, ang i-add natin. And this is 13. So, ang answer na 13 over 8, yan yung i-divide natin ng 2. Dalawa man ang given. Nag-divide tayo ng fraction. So, ito... Mayroon niyang dinam, uh, imaginary na 1 as denominator. So, sa rule ng fraction, mag-divide in dividing fraction, itong, ito naman, si dividend, kopyahin lang. Tapos, itong division maging multiplication, at si divisor maging 1 over 2. Yan yung reciprocal ng 2. Now, we can multiply 13 times 1, that is 13, and this is 16. So, ito, yung, ito na yung answer kasi hindi, ito na yung pinaka-simplest, hindi na siya masimplify. So, this is the answer. Number 8. Emily spent one-fourth of her money on a pair of shoes, one-fifth of it on a casual dress, and 200 for her lunch. If she had 64 left, how much money did, he, did she start with? Let n be the original number. Okay, ito yung original number. So, one-fourth the n, that is n over 4, one-fourth down. Plus, yung one 
fifth ng original number bali n over 5 one fifth del plus yung 200 na lunch niya plus yung 64 na natira equals yung original na pera niya so ito yung equation natin one fourth ng original number one fifth ng original na number plus 200 na niginastos niya sa lunch at yung natira so ito na yung total Paano ito i-add? Total addition naman talo, ito lahat. Itong fraction muna natin ang i-add natin. N over 4 plus N over 5. Paano ito i-add? Dapat, yung denominator natin ay pareho. So, ang least common denominator nito ay 20. Sa 4 and 5, 20 ang least common denominator. So, paano natin gawin ito? Itong si n over 4, that means si n over 4, i-multiply natin siya ng 5 para maging 20. So, kung nag-multiply ka ng 5 sa denominator para maging 20, yan din ang gawin mo sa numerator. So, n times 5, that is 5n. Ito na yung nangyari sa n four mo. At saka si n over 5 mo, Mag-multiply ka ng 4 para maging 20 ang denominator mo. Kung nag-multiply ka ng 4 dito sa denominator, yung numerator mo, ganun din ang gagawin mo. Mag-multiply ka ng 4. So, n times 4, that is 4n. So, ito, naging 5n over 20. At ito, naging 4n over 20. Ngayon, pwede mo na siyang i-add. Ang denominator, kopyahin mo lang. At yung numerator niya, 5n plus 4n, and that is 9n. So, bali, itong dalawa ay equals to 9n over 20. Ito. Plus 200 plus, i-add na lang natin yan, 264 equals n. So, ito na yung bagong equation natin. Sulat na natin ulit. Para mas klaro lang. So, plus 264 equals N. Ito ay transpose natin sa kabila. So, maging N minus 264. So, ito na yung natira. Pag i-transpose mo itong 20 dito, kasi nag-divide siya dyan, i-multiply natin dito. Ibig sabihin, i-multiply mo siya lahat. So, cancel na siya dyan. Nandito na siya sa kabila. 20 and 264. Yan na yun. Ito, pag 20 n minus, pag i-multiply mo dyan, i-multiply mo muna ng 2, that is 5, 2, 8, at idagdag mo yung 0. Ganun lang kadali pag multiply nyan. So, ngayon, i-transpose mo itong 20 n. In such a way, bali, mag, uh, ipagsama mo yung mga like signs. So, nandiyan na. Natira na dito si 5,280. 9N minus 20. So, pareho lang yan sa positive 9, tapos minus 20. And this is negative 11. Kasi mas malaki ang value ng negative sign dito. Equals negative 5 to 280. I-transpose mo itong negative 11 na ito dito sa kabila. Ganyan, i-cancel mo na. So, na-isolate na si, si number dito. N, ang N natin. 5,280 divided by 11 and that is positive 840. So, our answer is positive 480, I mean. So, itong 480, paano makuha? So, ganito lang yan. Kung paano natin makuha yan. So, 480. Number 9. The sum of the ages of two children is 16. Four years ago, the age of the oldest child was three times the age of the younger child. Find the present age of each child. Let A be the older child. Si B, si younger child. Ngayon, mag-table tayo. Itong ages nila, so bali, si A ito, si B yan. 
Unahin natin yung four years ago. Four years ago, the age of the older child was three times the age of the younger child. So, ito si younger, three times daw si older child. Four years ago. Ang now niya, ibig sabihin, yung now, bali, kung isam itong dalawa, that is 16. Yung now niya ay 3B plus 4. Kasi 4 years ago yan. Yung now niya, plus 4 tayo sa 3B. At ito ay si B plus 4. Now, ibig sabihin, ito na yung gawin nating equation. So, si 3B plus 4 plus B plus 4 equals 16. Pagsama ang mga like terms, that is 3B plus B, that is 4B plus itong dalawa, 8 equals 16. I-transpose mo yung isa, 16 minus 8. Kasi mag minus 8 dito, mag minus 8 dito, makancel na yan, so nandito na siya. B na lang at itong 4, i-transpose natin sa kabila, itong 16 minus 8, that is 8. So i-transpose natin si 4 dito, maging Kaya nung divide tayo sa dalawa. So, na-cancel na yan. So, nandito na si 4. And si B ay equals to 2. Equivalent to B ay 2. So, balik tayo sa table natin. Itong si B, 2 siya. 2 times 3, and that is 6. So, ito si B, 2 ito. Ito yung edad 4 years ago. 4 years ago, Si younger ay 2 years old, 4 years ago. Si older ay 6 years old. So, 6 years, six years old siya. So, ibig sabihin, 3 times older siya kay younger. Now, ito yung sagot sa tanong dito sa question. Itong B is equal to 2. So, 3 times 2, that is 6 plus 4 and this is 10. B is equals to 2 plus 4 equals to 6. So, kung i-add mo itong dalawa, that is 16. Yan yung noun niya. So, find the present age of the child, of each child, I mean. So, yung older ay 10 years old, yung younger ay 6 years old. Number 10. Jack is twice as old as Lassie. In 3 years, the sum of their ages is 54. How old are they now? So, let J be si Jack at saka si L si Lassie. In three years, the sum of their ages will be 54. Dito muna tayo, Jack is twice as old as Lassie. So, si Jack is twice as old as Lassie. So, si Lassie, ito yung uh, age niya. Twice man daw. So, ito yung now. Next. In three years time plus three. The sum of their ages will be 54. So, 54 ang, ang sum ng ages nila. In three years' time, that means, si, twice, si Jack is twice as Lassie. Ito yung si Jack. Ito yung edad niya. Two times kay Lassie na edad. Plus three in three years. Si Lassie plus three. So, ito yung gawin nating equation. Si 2L plus three plus L plus 3 equals 54. Ipagsama ang mga like terms, 2L plus L, that is 3L, plus 6. Si 3 plus 3 equals 54. I1 ang 3L dito, I1. I-minus natin ang 6, I-minus natin ang 6, para makancel yan, kasi nag-transpose tayo. And this is 54 minus 6. Now, uh, isolate natin si letter L dyan. 54 minus 6, that is uh, 48, divided by 3. So, CL, 48 divided by 3, so 18, and that is 16. So, bali, itong L is equivalent to 16. So, ang tanong, how old are they now? Ito yung now natin. So, si Lassie ay 16. 16 times 2 ay 32. So, ang answer dito ay 16 si Lassie, 32 si Jack. I-double check natin. After 3 years, in 3 years time, 32 plus 3 and that is 35. 16 plus 
3 and that is 19. So, i-add mo yung 35 plus 19 and that is 54. So, tama ang sagot natin.